It certainly hasn't taken long for the Atelier series to start to take over a new handheld. Only a couple years into the Switch's life cycle and we've already got half a dozen different Atelier games that we can play. And the Switch already has the entire Arlen series, including the original trilogy and a new fourth game of the series that releases today. Seen as both a sequel to and tribute to the Arlen series, here is my review of Atelier Lulua for the Nintendo Switch. This game takes place sometime after after the original trilogy in a small town known for investigations into the nearby ruins. The plot revolves around Lulua, the adopted daughter of Rorona Frixel, as she learns about alchemy wanting to increase her skills and not ruin her mother's reputation. The story of this game is great because you have all these returning characters so you can see how different they look from their original games, and the amount of comedy has significantly increased Bring it back to the level of games I really like, like Atelier Sophie and Atelier Verona. I was constantly laughing and being entertained, and I'm really glad they brought that amount of comedy back. The writing and narrative in general is also pretty exceptional, at least for the first two-thirds of the game. The problem I have with the last third of the game story is the relationship between Lulua and a key character introduced later on in the story that feels really artificial or fake. I can't really get into the specifics here because of spoilers, but all the events around that character from that point and onward just feel really weird and out of place, especially in contrast to the excellent writing around all of the other characters. When it comes to gameplay, Atelier Lulua is a turn-based RPG with a lot of item synthesis and combat elements thrown into the mix. In series fashion, you're going to be navigating through 3D areas and dungeons, collecting items to combine into new items, and fighting monsters in turn-based combat. Before we get into new features, let's talk about something I don't really like. This is a tribute to the Arlen series as a whole and has a lot of returning characters, and even has a huge world map where you can visit all of the major areas from the previous games like Arlen and Arles. It also has a huge number of returning characters, but the way these characters are handled is what I don't like. A lot of key characters from the original trilogy are mentioned but never actually show up. Playable characters also feel really scarce. You see a ton of returning party members across the game, but only two of them actually join your party. I figured that in series fashion, you were going to get a lot of different playable characters because of the amount of playable characters from previous games that were available in this game, and the fact that that's typically how Gust handles these sequel games. But unfortunately, you only have about seven playable characters total, counting the two returning characters that join, and even characters like Totori and Meru that are a big part of the plot can't be recruited without buying separate season passes with the DLC. It's really just a bummer to have this measly party when previous games like Meru had almost twice that. But now let's talk about the rest of the game. As far as improvements or changes to the formula, this is very much like a mystery game. There are no time limits or time restraints on anything from story objectives to side quests, and finding new recipes and fulfilling story objectives is done by fulfilling conditions like going to a certain place, talking to a certain NPC, or creating a certain item with a certain quality rating. While the feature around filling these conditions is technically new and has a lot of main and side objectives, the way you do it is pretty much the same way you did it in the mystery games. Now main progression does work like it did in the previous games, you have a point to point world map, you synthesize items through synthesis, and you navigate dungeons with harvest points and monsters to fight and turn turn-based combat. But the alchemy and combat systems do have a few new things here to make it a little bit more user-friendly and have a bit more depth. When you combine items with alchemy, you have all of the in-depth stuff you had before, like effects and traits, but now you have a way to stabilize and control whether something will succeed or fail. When you put everything together in a synthesis before you actually create the item, it'll tell you whether it's going to fail and whether it won't, and what kind of item you'll get if you allow it to fail. This is useful in a couple different ways. First of all, you can use special items to stabilize the alchemy so it doesn't fail. But some of the recipes later on in the game actually use failed alchemy items as material, so when you need those items, you can use those special boosters to control and make a successful synthesis of failed ones so you can get what you need. Now, the combat system is also very much like the Mystery series with rear party assist attacks as well as special ultimate attacks that I believe debuted in Atelier. Sophie. But two new features make it a lot more user friendly, especially with how many big difficult boss fights there are in the later parts of this game. Those two features are Primal Arts and Interrupts. Primal Arts are special bonuses when you have certain characters together in battle, 
but the interrupts are a much more interesting feature. All of the alchemists that can be in your party, which pretty much just boil down to Lulua, Piana, and Rorona, can equip battle items that come with their own gauge as you go through each combat situation. When the gauge is full, that character can interrupt whoever's turn it is, whether it's an enemy turn or a player turn, to use that item. This makes using items incredibly convenient because as soon as a party member falls, you can immediately use an interrupt and revive them without having to wait for your player's next turn. And the best part is that the alchemist who uses that item doesn't have to be part of your main battle party. They can be in the rear guard and still use that interrupt command. Now all of this comes together pretty well and you get a good amount of content and length out of this game. I took part in most of the slice of life scenarios in each chapter and I reached the normal ending in chapter 10 after playing for about 23 hours and reached the true ending in chapter 11 after playing for about 28 hours. So as long as you don't go for that normal or bad ending, you should be spending at least 25 to 30 hours on this game before you finish it. Now let's dive into presentation, which is exceptional. When you got it in dock mode, it barely looks any different from the PS4 version. No jagged edges, a ton of detail, and all around, it just looks beautiful. Now when you go into handheld mode, there is a slight blur to it, but it's just that slight. It still looks gorgeous when you got it on the go and it looks nowhere near as blurry as the previous games like Atelier Lydian and Suel did. Now when we get into performance, I didn't really see any frame drops in docked mode outside of during a couple attack animations. Now when you have it in handheld mode, you do get some small frame drops from time to time, but they're not severe and they don't really happen that often. Now when we get into battery life, we see the optimization of this game just keeps getting better. Atelier Lalua has a battery range of 2 hours and 34 minutes on high settings, up to 3 hours and 37 minutes on low settings, a significant amount of more battery life than Atelier Lydian Suel got. Now in conclusion, Atelier Lulua is a beautiful game that is definitely the series best optimized form when it comes to handhelds. Now the downside, the events around a certain character towards the end of the game do bring down the overall narrative. And I wasn't really a fan of how they handle returning characters, especially with how few of them are actually recruitable into your party. But if you're okay with most of the battle roster being new characters, this is a fun game, whether you're a fan of the Mystery series or the Arlen series. Reviews to go rates Atelier Lulua for the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.